Today is a huge day for me. I get to open my U87 and I am super excited for this. Oh my gosh, I'm so hyped right now. Uh, so this is a vintage U87 that I found out from Neumann. It was made in 1979. Um, I acquired this for my 30th birthday. Sadly, it was not working. The previous owner somehow ripped the XLR port out of the microphone. So, of course, this doesn't work. And I had to send it out to Neumann, of course, to get it serviced. And literally, as of the time of this recording, about 10 minutes ago, December 13th, I just got it back. So I am super excited. I am pumped. I can't wait to see what it looks like. And, ah, oh gosh. Stick that down there. The moment of truth. Hope the camera is able to focus on that. They wrapped it up and everything. This is so cool. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay. No way. Okay, so when I initially had this mic, there was a lot of like black stuff on the front of the microphone. It was kind of dirty. Looks like they cleaned that up a bit. Uh, it's not completely gone, but it's definitely better. Still got the dent that was there originally when I got this. This is so cool. This is what a serviced vintage U87 sounds like. I have this mic plugged directly into my Neve 88's RLB microphone preamp into my Apollo X8P interface. There is no pad, there's no high pass filter, and there's no post processing done in Pro Tools. This is just the sound of the microphone raw. I'm planning to do a lot of content with this microphone next year. I own a TLM 103, so for sure, I'll be doing a shootout between the TLM 103 and my U87. I'm planning to do a shootout with the TLM 102, a current production vintage U87 AI, and fingers crossed, Hope I can get in the studio and get a comparison between this and a vintage U67. So if you don't want to miss any content from me, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate your support and I will see you in the next video.